When your mind is filled with many thoughts, the best remedy would be to listen to some good music while taking a walk. Today I'll enjoy a special date with a singer whose voice makes everyone happy wherever they are. Hello Showbiz Korea, we have another episode of Star Lounge ready for you. Do you see me going inside that cafe right now? It's because we have another guest ready and this time she prepared a gift for us. So let's go find out who she is. So I brought my CD as a present to start oh, things off. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Synchro Fusion. Yes. Wow, thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> It's really, really nice to say hello to everybody, especially since it's been such a long time. It's nice to bring some new music out and chat about it too. Singer Lena Park appeared out of the blue in 1998 with her first album titled Peace. On the contrary to her small physique, she has a powerful voice and excellent singing skills and became known as the Korean Mariah Carey. Plus, she's been known as the queen of R&B since her debut until now. She recently made a musical transformation and returned to her fans. Now, it's been about two years. How have yes. you been? Um, I've been good, very busy. Um, but I've been busy with other musical projects, um, not album projects. So yeah, it's been two years since I've actually released something. Um, it's been too long since I released something, so yes. I wanted to get it out as fast as possible. Synchro Fusion is your new mini album yes. with three songs, yes. and your title track is Double Kiss. Double Kiss. Can you please introduce your song a little for us? <laughs> yes, um, Double Kiss is a little bit more funky, uh, very up-tempo, yes. um, and it's kind of like a celebration of love. Um, it can be interpreted kind of in a sexy way as well, so uh, yeah, a big departure from what people are used to hearing from me. It's been many, many years and I have been generating a lot of music over, what, the past 16, 17 years. So, you know, from a fan or even somebody who is not actually familiar with my music, I felt like something fresh and new and different would be the best way to go. So I did want to bring something really different to the table. Right. We're only talking about Double Kiss, so yes. I was wondering if we can hear it a little bit live, if, you, if it's okay with you. <laughs> 생각하지 마라, 그냥 그대로 아무것도 필요 없어 고장나겠어 Fusion, the actual, um, right. the total project name is, you know, it's not a real word, but it was a collaboration project. Mm -hmm. And after that collaboration, what comes out is not a, actually my music or their music, but kind of a fusion of the two okay. different styles. Okay. So that's why the single is called Synchro Fusion. Mm -hmm. And it's titled That Next Year. Yeah, that I next would year. interpret it as That, that Next, next year. year. Yeah. Right. And that's uh, kind of similar to your regular genre, where yes. it's R&B ballad style. Yes, it is. Yeah. I mean, there's so many. One of the songs on the album is completely in English. It's very electronica. Yes. So, you know, it could be very diff diff difficult for um, Korean speakers to kind of um, uh, listen to um, and, you know, really feel an affinity to right away. And then Double Kiss is so different. I mean, it's very poppy and up-tempo. Yes. So, to have these experimental two songs anchored by a more traditional ballad. When we talk about singer Lena Park, we can't forget about this singer, Yoon Jung Shin. He not only produced the song Double Kiss, but is the person who recognized her talent 16 years ago. She changed from a rookie singer to a top musician and her status changed a lot over time. But she said that working with Yoon Jung Shin, her musical partner and mentor, is always special. Were there any fun episodes while recording? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, definitely that shift from mentor apprentice to peer to peer uh, really kind of manifested while we were recording. Because mm -hmm. I would be singing and he goes, he would be directing my vocals and he goes, yeah, I think that's fine. And I would be the one who goes, no, no, it's not, not yet, it's not yet. <laughs> And he goes, oh, okay. And then he would have to kind of just sit back and wait for me 
which is something that he didn't experience before. Right. Yeah. Right. So it, you kind of took the lead sometimes. I kind of, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think basically he didn't expect me to um, protest oh. <laughs> as much as I did. Lena Park made her entry into the K-pop industry at the young age of 20. It wasn't an easy challenge, but thanks to her gift for music and her strong will, she juggled her career and her studies spending busy but happy days. Despite the fact that you're one of the most influential singers here in the Korean music industry, you Thank actually you. <laughs> went back and forth from the st States mm -hmm. and Korea mm -hmm. to graduate from Columbia University May of 2010. Yes. And top 15% of your class. Yes. <laughs> and then you also sang the American National Anthem mm -hmm. at your graduation ceremony. And yes, I'm I sure did. this must have been much more meaningful to you because of that event. How did you feel? The singing the American National Anthem at the commencement was extremely random. Um, because I had been going back and forth from Columbia for over a total of nine years. Nine years. I had actually matriculated in 2001. So to end up finally graduating in 2002, to do two years worth of coursework, yes. um, it was quite a feat. So by then, everybody in the department knew me very, very well. Yes. I wish I could do something. You want me to sing a song for you guys? And it just came out as a joke. And they kind of looked at each other, the dean and the assistant dean, and they go, really? Yeah. Really, would you? I'm like, oh, well, of course I would. It's the lead, and it would be an honor for me. And so we just did that. So um, it was for, it wasn't for the total, but it was for our, our department commencement. And it was the first time that the uh, national anthem had been sung at their yes. class commencement. Honestly, I didn't want to do it. Um, really? Yes. Um, so the biggest thing I think about doing it was I was extremely uh, stressed out by the fact that we would be ranked and there would be eliminations and I knew that that would stress me out. But uh, the biggest thing that made me want to do it was the artistic lineup. Yes, all the, the fellow yeah, yeah. cast members. Yeah, the right? other cast members, the other artists who had agreed to do it. Wow. I felt like for some reason, this is a this is a gathering of artists um, in Korea that really doesn't happen. Now, what I want to ask you is, do mm -hmm. you have one specific performance you remember the most? Of course, they're all meaningful to you, but one particular one. I think the most meaningful was uh, the last the last performance that I the did. The last performance. Um, it was a song by Drukukwa called "Kugop Mani Ne Sezan," which is uh, my own world. And um, I had actually gone through or survived all the elimination rounds to uh, qualify to graduate. Yes. <laughs> they call it graduating graduate, into the right. Hall of Fame, I think, <laughs> I think it is. Yes. Which basically means you can rest now. <laughs> <laughs> you can rest. You're off the hook. <laughs> um, and in Korean, we call it shun sop sop, you know? Yes. It's this bittersweet, bittersweet, I'm so glad I made it to the end of the line, but now that you're finished and you're leaving everybody. And then I got number one. And so that was extremely memorable for me. I want to get married. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> you do? Um, okay. Yeah, I have to really think about that one. Yes, um, yes, you do. Oh. I don't actually have plans or thoughts about getting married. Yes. Um, I don't sit around thinking, I have to get married. But since you asked the question, I think it would be nice to get married mm. just because it, mean, it would mean that I had found somebody, you know, and that's nice. And <laughs> you were, as you were talking about right. finding someone, what is your ideal type? Do you have one? I, I, I don't have a type in terms of uh, looks. Yes. Um, but I think right now, it's just a matter of finding someone, someone that is uh, like a friend. It's like a friend. Yeah. Um, but like your best friend. <laughs> yeah, your best friend. Um, yeah, uh, someone who can make me laugh. Mm -hmm. um, I think common interests are yes. more important. I didn't used to think that was as important, but I think it's more important now. 
She received lots of love from the public through the program I Am a Singer, and also starred in many variety shows. Plus, she even hosted a music program and became a model in many commercials. We wonder what's in store for her in the future. Well, um, I'm not really good at planning so far down the line, but um, the Syncrofusion Fusion project is actually uh, this mini album is just the first of a series. So I plan to go on to do a couple more Syncrofusion singles, yes. and that's the biggest challenge for me right now because um, I'm still seeking artists to collaborate yes. with, and uh, for me, the more um, far out there, the better, because I think the the result will be a lot more yes. interesting and fun. So yeah, uh, it's just my quest to find and learn about new music. Is there any artist in particular you have in mind that you really want to work with in the future? I've definitely decided to, for Syncrofusion number two, uh, to try a hip hop artist. <gasps> hip hop. Yeah. Hip hop. Because it is a one genre. Rap is a genre that I'm the least comfortable with, to tell you the truth. Of course, yes. yes, um, yes. And Korean rap is kind of like attending a language course for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, although. <laughs> Although out of all the Korean genres, right now, hip hop has really been catching my eye yes. because it is just yes. really cool. Lena Park, the greatest diva of our generation, is expected to fly straight to the top once again with her new song, Double Kiss. We hope many people will be touched and happy in the future because of her songs. How will you be spending your summer? Do you have any summer vacation plans or future plans? Well, uh, yeah, I'll be busy doing concerts and then just going straight into this studio to work on Single Fusion number two. Yeah, so just work, 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 but fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so under lightning. <laughs> Hello, <laughs>